I'm coming at you lot today with first impressions. And this has come from the house of Mason and Mateen. And are you ready for a laugh? Because I'm going to butcher this name. It's called Avent Larage. Stay tuned, people. Let's do this. YouTube. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. That is right, we've got another one coming from the house of Maze and Mateen. Lost in translation, great smelling fragrance. I've got a first impressions review. If you look through my channel, you will see that I've done first impressions on this bad boy. Great smelling fragrance. There's a lot going on in this fragrance and for what you can pick these fragrances up for, so far, they are worth the money, I'm telling you. So that is lost in translation, right? But today we are focusing on Avent Lorage. Obviously, if I'm not pronouncing that right, someone let me know. Oh, I'm terrible with names, I really am. Right, that's just a slip sleeve cover, so to speak. And there is your box. Let's open it, let's spray it. Let's see what the, bo the bottle actually looks like. And there you go. Does that look like a hand or something? Yeah, it is a hand with, oh. Right, there's pictures of rose and a hand, stars and a moon. I wonder what's in this fragrance. There's only one way to find out, people, and that is to smell it. Cap is like a rubbery, it's like a rubbery cap. Looks like a cork of a bowl. But, as I always say, it is about the juice. But I do like a good looking bottle as well. There's no doubt about that. Because when you've got stunning looking bottles on a shelf. And people see them. And it sort of makes you feel a little bit proud, if that makes sense. Because you think, yeah, they're mine. They do look great. Keep your dirty mitts off. Right. Let's spray it. Nice atomizers on these bottles as well. God, that's nice. That is nice. That's going on skin. Look at that atomizer, look, pressurised, look. I believe I paid 30 cent pound for this off of Perfume Dreams website when it was on sale. And I think even when they're not on sale, they were about 45 pound. And this is a 50 ml bottle and it is other perfume concentration. I think I forgot to mention that. A woody, creamy, spicy, a little bit balsamic, vanillic. This is nice. Another nice surprise. This is a nice smelling fragrance. There's something in this that I'm detecting and I don't know what it is, but at the minute it's balsamic, creamy, vanillic, a little bit woody, not heavy on the woods. More like a sandalwood sort of woody creaminess going on. This is a nice, nice smelling fragrance. Unisex. God, that is nice. I like that. That is nice. Let's look up the notes. Obviously, people, let me know if you've tried any from this house. I don't think they have a massive collection. I'm not sure how many bottles they have. Seven, nine, maybe, something along the lines. But like I say, Lost in Translation is the first one that I've tried. Now this is the second one. And I tell you what, both good fragrances. That Lost in Translation is a little powerhouse. Not beast mode, but I tell you what, the longevity on it is great. It's right, let's look at the notes. Like I say, drop a comment down below if you've tried any from this house. Which ones you think I should try. And let me know if you've tried this fragrance. Right. Pink pepper up top, benzoin, jasmine sandback. That is what I can detect when I said I couldn't pinpoint a note. That is it. Vanilla, sandalwood, tonka bean and musk. It is. It's just a nice vanillic sort of resinous, creamy sandalwood fragrance. The musk to me, it's to my nose, I don't think it's heavy on the musks. 
it's they're just tucking round the other notes, so to speak. Yeah, the pink pepper is giving it a little bit of a like, spicy kick up top. Nice smelling fragrance. I would give this a solid 7.5 out of 10. It does, if you're going out and you want to smell pleasant and you want to smell attractive, this fragrance will do you justice. I think this is an all year round fragrance, but I just wouldn't reach for this on a super hot day. Apart from that, I think you could wear this any time of year. And the artwork, look, they are nice looking bowls. And like I say, they're 50 mLs. I don't know if they do them in any other sizes. I do know that I think they do them in 15 mLs and 50, but I don't know if they do 100 ml bowls. Right, people, thank you for sticking with me. Remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. That, my friends, is a nice smelling fragrance. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.